Just touched down there, Matho. Yeah. A little bit of a heat, what the feel like? Yeah, a bit hot, but um, I'm a brizzy boy, so I'll, I'll be able to handle it. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. So it's refreshing. It's refreshing. Yeah. It's good. We're gonna go train tonight. There's Cammy Stokes right there picking us up. First day of school, eh? <laughs> what, what size are you going for, man? That's a large. I might put a few on over in America. Play for TV, baby! At least a 42 inch. And one window! <laughs> Just in case we need to get some pressure on you. That's Mickey! This is Mickey. Yeah! Shout out to Essex lol. Don't, come on man, no, 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 don't do it. We're gonna buff ski. We're ready to go. Ready to rumble. Training tonight? Yeah. And Loosen then the legs up. Get some power stuff. It's been four weeks since I've played, so it'll be nice. <laughs> For me, it's been eight, nine weeks since I've actually trained properly. So we'll see how the doms go. Yeah. 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 Breakfast of Champions. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's I, had it right? to go, I had to go a bit bigger today because we're playing at 8pm. So normally I'd cut about half of this, but because it's an 8pm game, just fuel up. Have you ever played an 8pm game? Never played an 8pm game. 7.25 was too late in the AFL for me even. So <laughs> I couldn't get to bed. So I don't know what it's going to be like tonight after, after playing at 8pm. Hopefully that'll put me to sleep. And we've got fishing tomorrow. So yeah, early night. Got to get up early. And next time we see you, you'll be on the charter. Actually, no, it won't be the game. Just bought the essentials. I know I'm going to blister up like a mad dog. Panadol for pulsating headache after. And hydrolyte for the day. <laughs> Bit on. Bit hot. Bit hot. It's starting to feel now, eh? It's starting to feel. <laughs> I need a lazy 35 degrees. Let's go. Matho's pool his house is bigger than this, but it's all you need. You need just stretching. All right, guys, we're going to do some pre-game stretching in our big pool. <laughs> Nutty. <laughs> All right, it is 5.30, about to get ready to go to the game. Next thing you'll see is a jumper presentation at the ground. I'm gonna be handing it to Reese, obviously, because I played uh, Darwin Buffaloes last year, and it just makes sense, so. Couple jerseys tonight, it's gonna to be a lot of fun. Palmerston at their home ground. Eight o'clock game, never played eight o'clock game in my whole entire life, so I don't know why it's that late, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of cobwebs, haven't done anything for about eight weeks, so fingers crossed, get through unscathed. Get a big win, and then it's a weekend for the boys. Fishing tomorrow, and then shooting on Sunday. Let's go! <laughs> All right, welcome back. We are in the Northern Territory playing NTFL Darwin. I brought up my boys, Reese Matheson and Blake Coleman, who recently got cut from the Lions and we are getting underway. We we're playing Palmerston at their home ground. They hadn't won a game yet and we were two and zero. Just come off a bye, so we are getting ready. This bloke's trying to put himself 
um, onto me and try and be physical, which is happens every single time I play any local footy. There's always heroes getting around, but let's get into it. Little first bounce here, knocked forward. Now, I told myself that I wasn't going to sprint in the first quarter because I haven't done anything for eight weeks. So what do I do? I sprint after a loose footy. And then legs weren't ready, and I turn over to Big Phil Wheels, my boy. We go way back at him. Oh, there's another bloke trying to get physical nice and early. I'm guessing the coach said don't let out Robbo and Matho get an easy touch because you see throughout the game that there's uh, these guys trying to be tough. As you can see here, a little stoppage and this little number four nugget guy tries to start something. Yeah, let him know early that, mate, put your head in. Credit to the um, Palmo boys, they were physical for most of the game. I think that's what they came into the game, trying to impose themselves on the, on, uh, the players and, and get them going somehow. Trying to keep your feet, but get the ball to the little Timmy. And he gets taken over the line, as we said. The physical stuff early on, there was hits behind plays. Blokes trying to whack you from all sorts, but this is probably holding the ball there, but play on. But play on, and as you see, we have a player down behind play, and for some reason that Palmer get a free kick down there in pocket, and they get a 50-meter penalty, which results in their first shot at goal and a six points on the board. Rate this follow-up from Big Stewart. Tap, and then Stokes gives it to him. Nice little kick out off the right side of the boot. Hits up Ishmael, and he hits up Hassan Ahmet Watkins. Had a little bit of the hits in the first quarter. Um, he was everywhere. But this is Robo from the pass. Long kick in, and Modra! Yes, that is me taking a specky and then thinking about how good it was and missing a shot at goal. I usually put those through every day of the week, but... You move on. Stokes here with a quick kick from the clearance. Blakey Coleman was clean all day, 100% efficiency by foot. You get Coco hitting up big Stafford brothers. And then we got our other forward, Hassan, hitting up for another chesty and a shot at goal. Knew the ball was going to go over the back here. Looked up the ground, there's nothing on, so I had to duck back into traffic. Got rid of the ball, and uh, as I said, physicalness in the back. But that's my boy. We are, I've known him for about 15 years and a lot of love there. Little short dart. So this is a good one. I knew it was a free kick here. Um, Stokesy can obviously kick at 45, but I was thinking, no, why don't I just play it off a little bit, think that I'm looking somewhere else, and uh, get a little handball receive. And Stokesy gave it to me, which is good. Big Jared Stokes and float it through from 50 metres. And uh, that's the first goal for the Buffaloes. Get around me. So quick, and then hits up Hassan. Great little diving mark there. And I just asked him the question. I said, Hass, you want to kick it or you want to give it to me? And uh, the rest is history. He just gives it to me. Outside 50 is my, my range. I love it. I rarely miss. Never had that uh, license in AFL, but I wish I did. I wish I was a Dan Rich or someone that could do what they wanted. Nice little turnout, actually. We had a lot of buff supporters come down and, and see a couple of the new boys don on the colours, which is cool. We had Nick Yaron as well, who played his first game since he was 15. Nearly took a one-handed mark, but again, just a bit rusty. I've had eight weeks off since my last kicking of the football or a game, and I just missed that snap. Beast mode, doing what he does best. Laying a nice little tackle and getting a, getting a touch here. He was actually amazing. The commentators were saying that he didn't touch the ball much. Oh, shit, forgot about that. A little bit of a high contact, and all the boys ran over and flew the flag, which is which is bust footy. It's really good to see. Oh, yeah, now we're repaying a little bit of the physicalness. We're not taking any shit for the game. And As I was saying, that Matho, yeah, he played a great game. He might have got a lot of handballs, and like, as you see here, a little, little handball to Robinson. Um, big surge kick from centre bounce, but that's quarter time. But yeah, he had a great game and he adapted to the, the weather pretty well. But the scores were pretty much even. 2-2-14, 2-4-16. We had a lot of shots, we just couldn't capitalise it. Big Cammy Stokes was just saying, boys, take a breath. They're coming at us with everything. We're just going to play our brand of footy and what, what works for us. And we're into the second quarter. Big wheels gets a 4 50 kick. Not a bad spoil there. Shot at goal. And I worked hard from the from the set of bounce to get a couple of these outside kicks. A little bit of a turnover there. But uh, lands back in my lap. 
But yeah, you got to get back to help support, get the run back in the legs because I was dummy as and I was a bit sore. Nice little inside 45 kick to the corridor. At the back here, a lot of pressure on. Nicky Yaron goes for a kick off the ground. But Coco cleans it up. Get it around him. He loves a little Schnaggeruni. Jared Stokes is one of the best players I've ever played with, to be honest. Any level. And he just works all day. It's a great tackle there. Holding the ball. And he gets a shot at goal. Never in doubt. He's very, very comfortable in front of goals. He's a little champion. Nick brings it back inside to Blakey. Blakey by foot on this night was one of the best games I've seen. He just hit absolutely every target from all over the ground. I love to see him play in midfield as well. A little bit of pressure there. Trying to just get a massive uh, mongrel pun in the forward line. Next play, Hassan. Beautiful check side. Straight through the middle. A little bit of breathing space because uh, Palma hit a couple of goals there. Probably pushing it back there, but we just play on. I have to yell a little bit. Matho sees me again for a long handball. We kind of muck around with it a bit here, but just trying to get the ball going forward. The ball was slippery AF. Blakey back to me. Two quick hands. But don't give up. Don't get sad about it. Get in there and get a tackle, Robinson. Yeah, Matho and I are waxing a little bit. We know each other's game so well, so we play the game together. We know where each other runs. We know the running patterns and stuff. First goal in the seniors, Jay Orso. Get around him, boys. He deserved that one. Woo! Let's go. Now, I don't know where this guy was handballing it, but that's definitely uh, deliberate, if not holding the ball. But we move on with it. We move on with it. Can't win them all. And that's half time. The scores were even. We had a lot more scoring shots. We couldn't capitalize on our shots at goal. But uh, credit to the Palmer, they kept coming and they, uh, they, they put up a pretty strong half. So we just had to focus on a few of our own things. We had to control the ball by foot. We're turning over a lot and they were, they were going from coast to coast from their kick-ins way too much. That's where all their scores are coming from. So we had to tidy that shit up. Nicky Aaron's first goal wasn't on camera, but everyone gets around him. It's great to have him. He just came from St. Mary's and he's, he's done in the double blues and he, and he got the medal at the end of the game. He dominated. A little bit of forward line pressure here. The boys uh, keep working hard and the sun gets taken high and thrown in the ground after he got rid of the ball, which results in a free kick. The sun, as he does best, well, he kicked five goals, four for the night, but he puts this one straight through the middle and he's pretty happy with this one. Confidence is in full swing now from my guy, Ahmet Watkins. Now, a bit of a quick kick off the ground. I just wanted to get it going forward, not muck around with the ball a little bit. And Staff, he's such a tall target that the defender just pushed him out there. And he gets a free kick. And he let him know about it. He lets him know about it. And the stat's pretty dead-eyed dick in front of goals. And he puts that through the middle. And the boys are on a roll. The third quarter was our best quarter for the day. We absolutely put on a serious clinic. Great midfield pressure here. We lost the tap. Knocks it forward. But Blakey puts his hand in there. And then follows up with a nice little clean-ass handball to Bradley Stokes. Bradley Stokes over to his brother. And then we, uh, we were out here. So Stokesy with ball in hand is probably the best I've seen. I come for a sport. So I was caught behind. Tripped over. <laughs> but if you can get away with the Hamzy, you can do what you want to do, baby. Matho, super, super strong, super clean, gets it out. And we get the ball going forward, back in our forward line. And then you know what Staff does. Any foot, left or right. He's on fire in his third quarter. Just uh, did the old Jack Ginevan here. Got the ball, could feel the tall guy coming through. And I got a free kick and then get into the forward line and hit up one of the targets. Big spoil from there. Matho's been held on to. And uh, I do have a left foot. Use it when I'm in trouble. Just to find a, go from contested to uncontested is what you really want to do. Matho kicks it out. This should be paid a mark. You tell me. Leave a comment. Holds it to the ground and then comes out. But it's playing on. And This one here. The ball's come out a little bit too fast. In the back. That actually hurt like a motherfucker. That ground right there was like serrated gravel. And I had cuts all over my knees and my tummy. And I just decided to launch a humongous torpedo. And that is three-quarter time. We put on a bit of a score. That thing kicked six goals, five or six goals, six. We just gave it a buffer, and I was absolutely dying from the heat. I was over it by now. The trademark Robbo, as you can see, with the cuts over my chest and my legs. That was probably my best quarter of the third one, and we're underway in the fourth. Matthew's been tagged, so get a little handball here to Nicky Aaron, little one-two, and then he uh, hits a target in the forward line with his foot. And we got the guy! Big Jackson Clark kicks it through the middle. Could be touching the line, but the goal umpire is right there. Get around him, he's got a nice little Facebook page. Matho with the clearing kick, and I was just playing in front and just kept it close to my chest. 
Now I want to look inside here first. I always look inside first to see if there's any options on. If nothing, the last resort's down the line, but just take your time with the ball and something opens up. A little dart inboard. Sykes with a bit of a fumble here, takes a bounce, could uh, give a handball, but look at that. Oh, on the titty. And a push should be 50, but let him do him. Ball comes out here, drops the mark, hits him in the face, bit of a falcon, and this little snap to Chrissy Atkinson. The ball's greasy as, so I'm not going to blame him for dropping this. Um, it was probably the hardest conditions. It was like 36 degrees this night. It was terrible, but I think he thinks that I was on his team. Little left foot kicking board. Matho on the fat side. And then we get Ishmael again. Oh, no, we don't. We get Azam on the right foot. Look at this one go through the middle. And I'm bugged. Put me forward, boys, because I am spent. Just playing in front here. I was in a sweeping position, so there was a midfielder coming up, sitting in the six hit. Get a free kick out of it, but I start just taking a bit of sting out of the game because we've got a nice little lead. We don't go throwing anything up. Now, Matho sprayed me because I was talking to the boys here. There's the, the Alan Davey um, and his family, I'm guessing, from Palmerston, giving it to me, saying I'm trash, I suck. And um, I know those guys, so it was pretty funny. But Matho was hating that I was taking so long to bring the ball in because he was right there for a good two minutes, he reckons. Even the Palmer boys were like, why is he spraying you? I'm like, I think he's just getting a bit hot, mate. Don't just let him be. Matho here with a long handball. And I'm just trying to take a bit of sting out of the game, as I said before. Just... Nothing silly. You don't want to give up any any late goals and, and get them back in the game. Look at this little MMA move. I've been watching too much UFC. Oh! All a bit of fun, though. Game was in our favour, so I was just having some fun now. Hard work was done, and I'm just enjoying being back in Darwin. Getting those tackle numbers up here, playing from behind. Probably dragged the ball in. Maybe you're holding the ball, but all good. Watch this hit here. Bang! <laughs> I was saying, Phil, I thought you think that was a bust opponent because that was a big hit. Stats so is getting a forward, a bit of clean with a take on tackle, get the hips out, and the boys are out now. Nick Yaron kicks it down field, gets a free kick for pushing the back, and Nick wasn't happy with this. I was too buggered to get over and help, but he can handle himself, so it's fine. Now, this was a great play from Nick Yaron. Have a bounce. Let's go for goal! Hits me up, I, I fend off early, get a space, and then chop in the arms, punch it out, whatever it may be. The crowd behind the goals for Palmerston were all into me, but this finishes in the goal anyway, which is good. A son for his fifth, I'm pretty sure, but there was some drunk wanker up in the crowd just yelling abuse all game, and he absolutely sucked. And that is game over. Buffaloes are happy. Time for a team song, baby. Matho, Blakey, and Nick are in the middle. I think you're on about 30 something points and it's time to celebrate. Enjoy!